day living. How, how are you? How was last night? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, it was it was more. I mean, we could talk about the pod if you want, but I it was more. Rolling. Yeah, it was more funny stuff. It wasn't like big. I hate life. Panic attack. It was like. Uh, it sounds silly, but because I'm not, um, I'm working with that therapist to, to not binge eat, and I haven't binged eight in like a month, and I've started having really bad panic attacks because of that. Do you think you're just not even you're not eating enough? No, I think it's. I think the only thing keeping me sane was chicken wings for a long time, <laughs> and now that that's gone, um, the uh, yeah, kind of. Man. The mask is melting yeah. down. Yeah. You can't just eat chicken and broccoli for too long. You'll lose your mind. Yeah, you will lose your mind. You got to put bit. some mango habanero on that. Ben is showing off our hats. We bought these the day before the Wander Franco news dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got... Um, there was a person who uh, was at... We'll say they were at the Tampa Bay's game. Yeah. Wander Franco, if you don't know, he's a uh, D- Dominican man, Dominican Republic, who was dating a 14-year-old. Yeah. All star baseball player. And the day he, before he was kicked out of the MLB for dating a 14 year old, they had a hat giveaway for 14 and under fans. Yeah. Age 14 and under. And that guy sent us a bunch of the pedophile hats. Well, I got mine in court. The judge, <laughs> the judge was handing them out. You were at the game pretending to be a little boy. Yes. You were uh, trying to fuck Wander Franco. Oh, I wanted to be brought back to his. His mansion favela yeah, or whatever. You, you had a big lollipop and a f- holding a frog. And you go, Mr. Franco, <laughs> Mr. Franco, let me marry your god sister. <laughs> so is he finished? He's out of the league? The, I just read an article today that he's probably never to return to the MLB. Yeah. Oh, man. Never to return. Shocking. Just signed a huge contract with the Dominican League. With the Dominican Winter League. Yeah. Whatever the fuck that Whoa. is. Whoa. Yeah. So R.I.P. Well, he lives on forever on these hats. Mm. Look at it. Look at him on the side. No, what these, a swing, number five. These hats are gonna. I mean, uh, imagine we're gonna one day we'll uh, know. There's like a it'll be like a war of invisible children in Africa, and they're all they'll all be wearing Wander <laughs> Franco hats. Yeah, <laughs> they have like AK 47s yeah. and machetes. They'll be filtering their water with them. <laughs> yeah. You're wearing you're wearing the same hat as Idi Amin one day. <laughs> There's a warehouse. It probably feels like you're before an ocean mm-hmm. of these hats. Yeah. There's before a- you. I mean, literally, like, when they made, they thought World War II was going to go on, like, another 12 or 15 years. They made, like, 75 million Mosin Nagants that are all still sitting in Cosmoline, which is like a Russian sniper rifle. All these things, they still haven't sold all of them. And, like, that's going to be... Wander Franco has, you can buy them, like, mm-hmm. 400 years from now. Oh, yeah. There's a guy in the Teamsters Union behind a bulldozer right now pushing pedophile hats. <laughs> across, and he's, like, he's smoking a big cigar. He's like, got to get these kid rapist hats out of here. Yeah. yeah, Aaron Hernandez jerseys. He's like... <laughs> We call them poor people sleeping bags. <laughs> Dude, we have to buy three Aaron Hernandez jerseys. I'm in. And wear those on the Dude, podcast. And wear with, the Wanda, with the Wonder Franco, Franco hats. I bet they're yeah. expensive on like eBay. I bet they're like relics. They to probably people. are. He yeah. was a hell of a player, I'll tell you. I told hell, you. He had a hell of an arm. I told you my friend Andrew just sent me a picture. He was at BBW watching uh, Buffalo. Sorry, he was at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> oh, okay. He, like, was, he wasn't at the... Is the, this a <laughs> restaurant where you fuck big boned women? Chase watches so much porn. <laughs> it's insane how much porn you watch. <laughs> the, man, yeah. the man loves to goon. Uh, listen, I love a good goon. <laughs> I, love to, I love to just be naked in my Wander Franco hat and goon. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, my friend was at... <laughs> My friend, the, the guy <laughs> masturbating in a flat bill, <laughs> completely naked, but wearing a flat bill. Yeah, and a vape. I'm jacking off. With, I have a vape, and I I hit the vape. I go, and then I start. I jack off with the same hand, so yeah. my vape is against my dick. You wear a tuxedo shirt, no pants, <laughs> Wander Franco hat. Yeah. yeah, like Winnie the Pooh. No, so my friend was getting chicken wings at the Big Beautiful Woman restaurant. Yeah. He, he was at Buffalo Wild Wings, BWW. Got you, yeah. Love that place. I, I meant to say. I was thinking the other day, I was like, man, they do a hell of a job. <laughs> Unbelievable happy hour they got there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Those types of places you can get Hennessy for like $5. <laughs> I know. It's really amazing. You really you can get like a tall boy a beer for like a dollar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a 50 soda fountain yeah. at BWW. And some of the worst employees I've ever seen at a, an establishment, but they're doing the best job they can possibly do mm-hmm. and i always appreciate that yes yeah they'll like roll the beer at you <laughs> they'll just go like <laughs> and you gotta like you gotta catch it with your foot mm-hmm. they quick. ask you how long you want your food microwave <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they go. They go. The chef would like to meet you, and they wheel out a microwave on a yeah on a fucking tray. They don't go like rare, medium rare, well. Mm. They go like two minutes, three minutes, mm-hmm. four. Popcorn setting. I recommend. Uh, I recommend popcorn the, setting. Uh, Americans should have a hibachi style grill where there's just a microwave in the middle of a table, mm-hmm. and a guy comes out and he he does all these tricks with his fingers, and then you just push start. Yeah, and everybody everybody's like three <laughs> feet from it, just staring into it's a microwave. It's a Korean barbecue, but with hot pockets. Yeah, yeah. They just bring cold hot pockets. That actually out. might be a hit. Like how TV dinners kind of came back. If micro like. If, I think people could dine out like to eat a, like a ham and cheese yeah. hot pocket. You would need a round door for that restaurant. Yeah, you need a hobbit, hobbit door. door. <laughs> yeah, with the doorknob in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, what were you saying about Buffalo Wild Wings? My though? friend was at Buffalo Wild Wings and he was watching like an LA Rams game at 11 in the morning and he looks over and he sees big fat Mexican dude in an Aaron Hernandez Patriots jersey. That kicks ass. And That's I made awesome. him, I was like, if you don't take a picture of him, I'm going to kick your ass right now. And I made he took a picture from far away. I was like closer, and he like got like five feet behind the guy. <laughs> took I could have got Andrew just stabbed to death in Glendale in the Glendale Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, it would have been worth it. I though. wonder what the thinking is there wearing that. Where you're just like, I don't think he did do it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many. There's a truther with every movement, right? That's true. He yeah. also definitely doesn't know that Aaron Hernandez was gay because he would never wear that jersey. That is true. That he's mm-hmm. he would be more upset about that than mm-hmm. than killing three friends of his. No, I remember. Do you remember the Aaron Hernandez documentary came out on Netflix, and I saw just a bunch of Mexican and black dudes on Twitter being like, "He was gay? <laughs> the fuck?" <laughs> They're like murdering your friends, like the cartel. Yeah. Was he really gay or was he just on a ton of drugs? No, That's I what I never understand with those guys. Like, are they just smoking so much crack? They just fuck any hole that is presented to them. Hmm. I think he was overcompensate. Like, I think he was he was so gay. He's like, what gay guys? What what is the opposite of gay guy? And it's like dudes that like like kill people and shit. Mm-hmm. So he was like killing people to be like, I'm not gay. And he was like blowing somebody's head off. And but did he kill someone he fucked? Uh. I, I forget the ins and outs of it, but there, there, I think there was something like that. Like one of them, they might have had like a little thing. He's also like he was with kind of like an ugly woman, which mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. interesting for a guy like that. Interesting. Interesting. Was she like 12, though? Uh, no, she was. No. He wasn't even a pedophile. That's what sucks about it. Yeah. yeah. So it was a, an of age woman who was not good looking. Who was not good looking. It kind of sucks he wasn't yeah, a pedophile. Yeah, sounds like he might have been gay. <laughs> it sucks he wasn't because we could have killed three birds with one stone. We could have, yeah. You know, he, we got rid of a murderer, pedophile, and a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> the holy trinity. Mm-hmm. A murderer, that's what a gay guy, that's and a what pedophile. I, that's what I call a turkey. Yeah. It's like three strikes and bowling. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like this, like, like fucking roided up Andrew Cunanan mm-hmm. on the field. Yeah, you know Clarence Thomas would be like, yes, <laughs> fuck yes, uh, <laughs> we got him. I uh, I was watching uh, uh the Dodgers lose terribly again yesterday, mm-hmm. and uh, like the Buffalo Wild Wings commercials come came on, and I I, went, I was like, oh man, they do a great job over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like said that to myself. I was like, mm-hmm. oh man. I'm like Devin where I'm embracing just loving a good corporation. Yes, mm-hmm. they do do a great job over there. They do a great, I love, a damn great I job. I love how they got all the, the employees who have to wear jerseys. I they know. have to wear a giant, heavy, hot mm-hmm. jersey. It's like Hooters for fat people. Yeah. 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 I appreciate things that don't have a secondary color as well. Like their primary color is just yellow. Yellow, yeah. And mm-hmm. like obviously black is the default, but mm-hmm. whatever. I just like a night. It's just really simple over there. I you know? love any place like that. I love a place where like you, if you go, if you look at the menu hard enough, you're like, is that just a plate of ketchup <laughs> for seven dollars? <laughs> like, yes, it is. It's, yeah, yes, yeah. This is like, the most popular <laughs> item, and this is limited time. Uh, one thing I appreciate about Buffalo Wild Wings is I've enjoyed uh, certain flavors all the way back to 9-11, and they still have them to this very day. They don't get rid of them. They don't move stuff in and then shuffle it out. Wow. Mm-hmm. They're always doing it. They Because they, they don't want to piss off people. What is yeah. that flavor? Caribbean jerk. Mm-hmm. I'm a Caribbean jerk guy. Really? I don't know if you guys knew that about me. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like that's like a risk a lot of the times. You think so? More of a mango habanero or classic buffalo. <laughs> He said habanero. <laughs> habanero. That's how I, that's yeah. how I order it. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, can I get, so Italian. Yeah, and I go, can I get Caribbean jerk? <laughs> <laughs> habanero. Yeah, you're the white woman at the taco truck. Yes. Let me get a hejadilla <laughs> and a hemi hunger. Thank you so much. <laughs> can I get a 
Organa. My dad does. Organa. My dad used to like do that with like he'd have like Mexican workers to like work on something, mm-hmm. and he doesn't really speak any Spanish, but he thinks like if he speaks broken English, it gets it across the same. Mm-hmm. I've seen white people do that yeah. a lot. Yeah, they go like, if you can't, he like does the <laughs> accent too. He'd be like, Jose. <laughs> Be like, if you can't fix the door, that would be as great. And you're like, they either way, they yeah. don't speak English. Yeah. It's not like they're like, oh, I got it now. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's Hispanic, not deaf. Yes, you have to go louder. Very insulting. Very insulting. It's you know what's funny is uh, I we, we either we're gonna talk about Buffalo Wild Wings for an hour and a half. Or we're just going to talk about Israel Palestine. <laughs> Those are our two options. Ooh. I hear. Those are our two options. And look, everybody. Things are getting testy over every, there. But no, there's a lot of hullabaloo going yeah. on. Yep. They, they bombed the Buffalo Wild Wings in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm really. That's when you know Hamas has gone too far. Yeah, it was rave night. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really bad. Mm-hmm. That, that all is bad. You know, people are really upset. Yeah. I tell you. You don't even know. I don't even know what's true, though, online, once again. You know, you everyone on, you know, there's all these, like Ian Miles Chong, he's just back to his old ways. Yeah. Uh, you know? right. Dude, I figured he's not from America. He's from Malaysia. He lives in Malaysia. Uh, yeah, oh, he what tw- a He tweets about immigrants shit. all day. Ugh. Mm. Yuck. Yeah. But yeah, he's just posting lies, like immediately, like community notes is like, this is a lie. There's yeah. not, these aren't like babies and kids. Well, like, the the best was the amount of people who tweeted like, this is just, I can't believe Hamas would do this. They're putting babies in cages. And then the community note would be, these are actually uh, Palestinian children who were put in cages by Israelis. <laughs> yeah. He's like, do you, can you believe this? Mm-hmm. Like Israel then, is, they, they've, they're, they're making Mr. Krabs live in a burger shack <laughs> under the sea. I was trying to get to the bottom of why everybody's so mad over there I know. in this it's, holy war. It's the damn heat. It, it's the damn heat. It's, the goddamn heat. You, it's, their, it's their goddamn dollar. And where the shit now? <laughs> Oliver Anthony wearing a yarmulke. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all the damn, the Palestinians eat fudge rounds. They eat fudge rounds and... Yeah. No, but I found out they're all mad. Uh, they're all fighting over this thing called the West Bank. No wonder the Jews have their panties in a wad. <laughs> oh, the wad oh, home run! <laughs> Unbelievable. The, the one bank they don't own. <laughs> the one bank they're trying to get their mitts on. Let me tell you, folks. <laughs> Let that, me tell you. That's the funniest racist thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, it's like you're writing for the concept of racism. Mm-hmm. Wow. That rules. I'm the head writer of the Mike Huckabee show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if you ran the Mike Huckabee show, that show would crush. That show would do numbers. Oh, I would love a Gary Shandling style show, but about the Mike Huckabee show. You that would, would rule so hard. You would hard. have Mike doing like Chris Rock level bits, walking around the stage, and then do have his fat sons do mukbangs. I was at the about end of to say, show. I'm like, all right, first things fucking last. We got to involve your fat two retarded, <laughs> t- two retarded boys in the show somehow. Mm-hmm. I need them to be like your quest love. I'm like, they can't play instruments. Doesn't matter. Yeah, put them out. There. They're just in the corner, like on the kazoo. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> doing the arm. Yeah. Yeah, doing arm. <laughs> yeah, trying to play a harmonica, but they keep swallowing them. <laughs> like, ah, damn it, he ate the saxophone. Uh, uh, he thought it was a Kit Kat again. <laughs> <laughs> keeps punching holes in the drum. Oh man, I could turn the Huckabee show around. Though, let me tell you, let especially tell right you. now at times like this. I mean, times are right. It, it is funny, by the way, everybody that uh, like the strike's finally over and everybody can go back to writing on their uh, like uh, topical comedy shows. Mm-hmm. And like at the day they come back, it's just it's all Israel, Palestine. Right. They're like, God, I thought it was going to be like Cheeto, Trump, Kafifi bullshit. Mm-hmm. That we were just- so it's, it's very funny because it's Jimmy Kimmel has to come out and be like, I pledge 100 percent allegiance <laughs> to Israel. I will kill yeah. any Muslim. Fuck. And everyone's like, I'm so happy. Comedy's back. Comedy's back. Comedy's back. Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel's crying. Jimmy Kimmel's crying. We all support Israel 1,000%, sir. <laughs> Dude, that is the funniest thing to me. Across the board, every U.S. politician, either side, every entertainer. Dude, the Dallas Mavericks were tweeting, yes. we support Israel. Everyone. Every single major <laughs> sports team mm-hmm. had to tweet. It's because they're like a little, they're mini America. Yeah. Right? Who? 
Israel. Uh, yeah, we like uh, have to. That's like it's uh, just what it is. Uh, we give oh, I think over overseas, like people go, "Oh, USA is big devil, Israel's little devil." Sure, that's what they say in like broken English. That's and what shit. they say. And it's like learn to fucking speak yeah. the language. What they retired. say say through a mouthful of goat. Yeah, but they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but no, we, <laughs> dude, we've literally. <laughs> Dude, we've literally yeah. given Israel four billion dollars a year since my grandpa was eight years old. Since nineteen forty nine. Yeah. We've given universally given Israel four billion dollars a year. And it still didn't help their defense. They fucking still got destroyed by these guys yeah. on fucking like well, they, flying carpets with yeah. ceiling fans attached to them. Well they kept turning them into big Scrooge McDuck bank vaults that they could swim <laughs> around. <laughs> That was the funny thing. Like Hamas was doing like jackass level like terrorism. It really, I it was, was pretty cool when yeah. I initially saw the footage. I'm like, yeah, is that Knoxville? Like, <laughs> yeah, Lance Bangs is yeah. shooting it. Hamas is on, is riding a big rocket into like over the dome. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I don't know. I think they let it happen on purpose so they could just decimate it. Much yeah. like Larry Silverstein. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's nine eleven. I see a real nine eleven. They did another nine mm-hmm. eleven. Yeah, that was my favorite thing. Was I, I did see some white dumb bitch tweet like. Uh, um, realizing um, this, uh, hap- like watching this happening, makes me realize if nine eleven happened again, you all would be defending the Middle East, and it's like, yeah, you know, the thing, like we didn't, and then we we killed a million people, and then nine hundred thousand soldiers like killed themselves, yeah, you know, yeah, from nine eleven. No, you go on like like Fox News and all these people on on Twitter and shit, they're all just like, we're gonna turn that place into a fucking parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh- P- people always have to correct what everyone's saying because they go, "Oh, are you advocating for genocide?" And then like they don't respond to that. Yeah, they're like, "We need to eradicate them off the face of the earth." And someone goes, "So you want to genocide a group of people?" And then they're like, "Yeah," and they, they go, they, they, go, they, go, they like, go, "You're not understanding. They're not people. Yeah, they're, they're bad. bad. Yeah, <laughs> they're holding they're up. Bad. They're holding up a Palestinian baby. They're like, "We found him. <laughs> he did it." Yeah, by the neck, by like, the he's, neck. A, like yeah. he's a raccoon. Yeah, like a dog visiting Putin. <laughs> I wish I were knock it off. Enough with the dead babies on my it's feet. It's horrific. Yeah. It's horrific. Hold, they hold them up like they're trophy fish. It's a- <laughs> I don't want to see the dead Palestinian babies. I I want to look at memes. I know. It's God damn so it. I, fucked I'm up. trying to look for the memes Elon is sharing. Jordan Peterson's lost his way. He's not even angry at trans people yeah. anymore. I know. Jordan's in Israel in full knight's uniform. He thinks it's the Crusades. <laughs> he's, yes. he's, he's got a big sword. He's getting shot at by, by Israel and Palestine at the same time. <laughs> he's in just a hail of bullets. <laughs> You bastards! You bastards! You You bastards! The trans bastards! Just getting... Man. Oh, man. Every five minutes on Twitter, he's going insane. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he cared this much. If you do care that much, go fight. I'm dead serious. Like, Ben Shapiro, all these people, go fight. Go use Abby Shapiro as a meat shield, you fucking little runt. Mm -hmm. Go use that big-tittied witch. Yeah. As a fucking meat Use shield. her as a flotation device to go through the Mediterranean <laughs> Sea like around and then come in mm-hmm. to Gaza and do whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, it's really fucked up. And I think uh, I think they're just going to decimate the whole place. Yeah. They let it happen on purpose so they could decimate it. Because I don't believe that they just, they just, it was Israel didn't know. Israel was. You did There was reports Israel was warned that something like huge was coming. There we go. And they're like, well, I think something huge will come right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we call this uh, Operation Boomerang. Yeah. Huh? Are we yeah. allowed to say all this, by the way? No, Are that's we, what uh, I was no, thinking. I mean, th- today's episode, we didn't even know this happened. And I was like, <laughs> well, it's a weird day for that episode to come out. <laughs> Let's talk about Taylor Swift then. So then Here we people go. just get mad about that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. The, the, yeah. We don't get the you know platform. Let's for talk you about Taylor Swift. That you know fucking what? Jew. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? I'm more nervous about us talking about Taylor Swift <laughs> than shitting on Israel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's funny. I did some Israel drawings and I post them and I took women party out of my Instagram bio just because I assumed just like just gnats like Jewish gnats were going to just Jesus destroy Christ. like locusts, just destroy everything I believe in <laughs> because I yeah. I dare shit on, you know, yeah, like the concept of mm-hmm. hey, and I'm not even like I'm, t- I'm not even taking a side. I'm just like so against like how are we supporting the military industrial yeah, that's, complex? Well, that's just what we do. They they get, they they sucker everybody back into it. Yeah, and shame on everybody that acts like the, you shouldn't have an opinion on this. Like you should absolutely yeah. have an opinion on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, absolutely. Have. Yeah. I have an opinion on on dead kids. Yeah, <laughs> I have an 
opinion. I know that sucks, and I have an opinion on fucking yeah. yeah. People act like there's nothing to say. Like there's plenty to say. It's both bad. <laughs> I look at it, and go, that sucks for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody yeah, somebody commented though. Like, do you think this is the time or place? And I go, no, but I'm yeah. I want to do it because it's fun for also me. Also, might not have been the time or place to have a big fun rave right next sure. to a you know an, an, a wall where people are yeah. starving to death. That was funny that people on ecstasy got killed by big rocks hitting their forehead, <laughs> caving their head. <laughs> I will say it seems I think moving forward this is a good way to know if something's uh, not real or wrong is if uh, every single institution stands behind that thing yeah. and creates a hashtag it's retarded mm-hmm. almost every time I would if, say like 99% of the time if 430 congressmen support a thing happening yeah. that means it's it's like the devil mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. the worst thing that could ever yeah. happen. if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are yeah. you know sending out support you're like alright well this mm-hmm. is retarded it's the, retarded the Clippers it? just hired a rapist and they're like we support Israel mm-hmm. you know the Clippers just hired a guy who showed his wiener to like eight staff members. Really? Wait, yeah. he did it, and then yeah, they he hired him. About after. This. And then yeah. they hired. I think I mentioned it on the podcast. Well, they're the Clippers. Yeah. They got to take what they can get. You know, <laughs> they couldn't sign any other. Place. They couldn't get anybody else to do the <laughs> they job. They didn't want it. No, I mean, I used to fuck. I used to go sit courtside of Clippers games because you know you ordered yeah. like a Happy Meal as a kid. And they just yeah. give you floor seats. <laughs> Clippers they game. go right this way. <laughs> just <laughs> come right in. It's like a petting zoo. Just come right through the drive through and pull in. Clippers games, you could just walk onto the court. You could just like touch Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. If you give him thirty bucks, you get to shoot a three pointer <laughs> in the game. Dude, the the Jack Nicholson of Clippers game is just a homeless guy who just waves a newspaper. Around. That's how much they suck ass. Is that their Jack Nicholson is Billy Crystal? Oof. Yeah, doing jazz hands in the corner. Oof, horrific. So what's the whole deal? So Blake Griffin was so bad at basketball, they made him do stand-up comedy. Yeah. yeah. He was so bad at basketball. No, he wasn't bad at basketball. But yeah. He, he was good, actually. He was fine. He was fine. But anyone that wants to go to the comedy store and put their name in a bucket should be killed. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. Right. Blake Griffin, the day he signed up for UCB, they're like, we're shipping your ass to Detroit. Mm. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah. What was his whole deal? He used to go and like kill Tony all the time or something. He used he, to go like, to the comedy store on Tuesday factory. nights at Roast Battle and like try and like host and stuff. Mm-hmm. He tried to he tried to maneuver his way onto one of Jack's uh, shows, and Jack was like, "You'll you I'll put you up when yeah. everyone else has been up." And didn't, he, like he like hated Jack for that. Didn't Good. Keith get in a fight with him because he wouldn't put him up at the store one night? I'm not sure. I don't know. I was that was Jack. I think. Jack, oh, it was Jack? Yeah, he got in like a he got kind of like angry at Jack. But Jack, I think Keith Keith was the one who told him because oh, Keith was telling me this. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keith was like Jack's henchman for a while, so that makes sense. That rules that they just told him he can't go out. Yeah, and that what I because they're also though they're like you light skinned bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I didn't know he was black. I thought he was a white guy. Man, come on! What I time with you? What? He looks, he looks like a white guy. Do you think? Did you not think, fully? There's no way he looks fully like a white guy. Did you guy? think no. he was related to Peter Griffin? Is that, is that what you thought? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't look white. Yeah. What? He does. He look black. If, if, if you send him to 1940, don't be squinting at me like that. That's a little crazy. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, he's, you've it, never seen, seen like a like a black guy that fucked like a redhead and the baby. I mean, not personally, not in my I cl- know. close no. social circle. I know you. Well, you have them in a cage downstairs right now, and you <laughs> fucking you watch them and study them. But no, come on, he has like, <laughs> slightly, you know, nappy come, hair. He's huge. Does he, he can dunk? Do he we can, know he, anything? He plays in the NBA. That should be your first yeah, clue. And he could yeah. like he jumped over a fucking car. He looks like the IDF's strongest soldier. He does a little bit. He looks like he could be in the IDF. I don't, he could be Jewish yeah. for all you guys know. Yeah. Do we really know? I mean, people are always lying about stuff nowadays anyway. We don't. You're right. I don't know. Mm. This is like one of those topics where I'm like, let's get back to Israel, Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Yeah. I was. Man, do an impression of a dead kid. Go. <laughs> All right. I was. I Literally in my head, I was like, <laughs> oh, God. in my head for a second, I was like, okay, thank God we're back to shitting out black people. <laughs> Thank, thank the Lord. I actually don't know what we can say on YouTube, by the way. I actually don't know. So we'll it just is like, true. We don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to self censor anymore. I mean, I have a you know I have a little girl on the way, and you know I just have to sure. I have to fight for what's right, yeah. so she can live in a just. That's world. so funny. I don't, has anyone ever said that that way? I have a little girl on the way. I have to say it. Yeah. <laughs> what logic? Ah! <laughs> 
I can no longer self censor. Right. I got a baby girl on the way. I, I, yeah. God damn it! Listen, I don't like these words, but I got a I got a mouth to feed. <laughs> damn it! Damn it! I got a little girl. You should become one of those guys. That's my baby girl. I justify all my worst behavior. Mm-hmm. Be one I of those guys. Baby girl. When you are you going to be one of those guys that like anything that happens in the news when because you have a daughter, you're going to be like, imagine that being your fucking daughter, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like right, okay. Yeah, imagine my daughter held up a bank and got shot. <laughs> yeah, like imagine it. Yeah, imagine your daughter like puts on a diaper and drives to Florida <laughs> to kill her ex. She was an astronaut. You're really proud of her for going to space. <laughs> yeah, you should become one of those guys. You're dude. probably right. I'm you should become, become a- that guy who escalates situations unnecessarily on behalf of his daughter, mm-hmm. yeah. but actually makes it worse. Well, you're yeah. at the park and a guy's just kind of close to you and you like pull out a fucking thing of mace and spray him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should become like one of those like a like kind of like how like rappers, even white or black, where they just get is it's all about the do- like my daughter. Mm-hmm. Like I'm doing this for my daughter. <laughs> my daughter, daughter. My daughter. Yeah. Right, I got a, I'm smoking seven blunts for like, my man, daughter. I got a daughter on the way. I got a daughter. And you just start playing like like how in rap albums too, there's always like a voicemail from their like stupid kid. Beat is on the track. <laughs> yeah, Ben's gonna turn into Drake where the new cover art's like his daughter's drawing. Yeah. Like for all the beginning dogs. of every episode, no more intro, just some shitty voicemail from your kid that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And you're gonna do like that that classic rap thing where you're like, dog. Once I had a daughter, I realized like I like date rape is wrong and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You go to John Bernthal's <laughs> show. Yeah. You pull up in some fucking giant yeah. truck in this hat. Yeah, specifically. I have face tattoos. Yeah, you yeah. guys talk about smoking meat for five minutes and mm-hmm. then like how like you realize right. rape's bad. Yeah. yeah. You talk about smoking meat and then John Bernthal leans for you. He's like, so like um, you like rape people and shit. <laughs> You're like, that's right, John Bernthal. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like raping motherfuckers out there. <laughs> <laughs> and John John Bernthal's just looking at you like, right, he's right, like, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, precipitously, <laughs> yeah. yes, mm. yes. Mm. <laughs> they just say words that don't really know what they mean. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh What was that movie he was in where he was like the guy everybody all cops love? What to call the kid? Oh, he, he was. He's in, like the hero of every guy who wants to like. We like, run, we run the night. That TV show. <sighs> no, it's like the one with the skull. Oh, Punisher. Yeah, he Punisher. Was, isn't he the guy in Punisher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punisher's apparently really good. I haven't seen it, but I Me know. Either. I don't. Yeah, I, don't I know. Care. Like every cop has that like skull tattooed on their thigh. Yeah, isn't Which, that a separate thing with the cops? I think I don't huh? know. I don't know if those cops have that because they love the show. I think it's another thing. Like oh, it's a, like a gang. I think thing. it's a Blue Lives Matter gangy thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in the in the show in the comic books, apparently he kills like cops. Yeah. So they haven't watched it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But, but they're just like this is a skull, and skulls like like faggots don't have skulls. They love the skulls. Bodies. Yeah, yeah. I like skulls. They're all white. <laughs> Underneath the skin, all skulls are white. Think about that. If it's so bad to be white, then why are all our bones white? Wow, you really are the Shakespeare of racism. Incredible. You it's come unbelievable. Up with, it honestly blows me away sometimes. Yeah. It really does. Woo! Yeah. I mean, this Wander Franco hat is really, there's like a magical it's power. It's special, mm-hmm. yeah. This yeah. is the like Mike uh, mm-hmm. shoe. Like, these are Michael Jordan it's shoes. It's like the Chronicles of Narnia, like like dresser or the wardrobe or whatever. Yeah. Like, you go into it and you just turn into huge races. Yeah. It's like Mike, but it's like Kumia. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you put that old floppy baseball hat on. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm checking in on him every day to make sure. I'm calling the hospital. I'm like, what are his levels? How mm. is Kumi? He is still in the hospital. He's been in the hospital for almost two weeks. I think he like legitimately almost died. Really? Really? Yes. Jesus. Hmm. He played it off like on Twitter, like it's just. Uh... Then why is he still in the hospital? Like you're not in the hospital for over a week because he hasn't if you had killed... a minor heart attack. He hasn't, uh, you know, he hasn't punched all the black nurses yet because <laughs> he's afraid yeah. to take a cab home. Yeah, he's going floor by floor. <laughs> Yeah. He's treating the hospital like a sanctuary. It's like fucking Bruce Willis yeah. and Die Hard. He's like working his way down yeah. every level. Anthony Kubi is crawling through the vents yeah. to get past the black nurses. Yeah, he's like, take some Lipitor, get your get your cholesterol down, have some laughs. Mm. Yeah, that's like his. He's in a hospital in the middle of New York. That's like his jaws. He's on a boat, dude. You're right. Just probably. surrounded by dangerous water. Too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, let's pray for him, actually, that he makes it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got to pray for AC. Pray for my proud warrior, AC. Pray for him. 
Hey everybody, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> Let's talk about sex. Summer is just around the corner. Do you want to bring the heat in the bedroom? Well, now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of your licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. Does it work? Don't think you need it? Try it free for a month. You're going to love it. We all use it. Ben, the reason his daughter's here is because mm-hmm. of that beautiful blue pill. Mm-hmm. Damn right. So Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And by the way, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. Now back to the show. Yeah. I want to be. That's, I think, my number one goal is to go on John Bernthal's show, though. I love that show. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's an amazing um, show. But, yeah, it's, I actually do really. I was watching an episode where it was like a, it was like a marine with like his face just like hanging off, like all fucked up. He's like bullet through the back of my skull, out my orbital socket, and then Bernthal's just like right, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. He goes, I, I reach up, and my cheeks hanging off. I try to push it back in, it falls off. He's like right, 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 right. He goes, right. he goes, he goes. Dangling. <laughs> he goes, in that moment, John? Yeah. In that moment? Yeah. I thought about my baby girl. <laughs> yeah, I thought about my baby girl back home. John's like, you got to get back to her, dog. You got to get back to her. Where was he raised? Was he raised? Dude, in he was like raised a- in Washington, D.C. Like pri- he went to a private school in Washington, D.C. Yeah, but he like fucked people up and was like the crazy child, I think. And then Ooh. he got his life together and, you know. Great actor, but amazing actor. Yeah. yeah. So just taking pills can sort of make you adopt that. Because uh, it's like a wigger a little bit, right? That's kind of what he's I think, doing. No, he's going cholo. It's like jarhead wigger. It's kind of like it's like he, when him and LaBeouf met, mm-hmm. it was like on. it was like they both were like it was they were like you me like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was they were so similar. Yeah. Mm. Dude, LaBeouf was they, like, but LaBeouf was giving me like, dude, when I got out of the barrio. Yeah, the barrio. <laughs> dude, LaBeouf thought he was like yeah. from the streets of like he South did, he LA. He does. He actually yeah. does. He's mm. he's like, you know, I'm running a community center mm-hmm. in Englewood. Yeah. yeah they he, all talk. We did this joke in Haywatch, but they all talk like the, E-40 yeah. and shit, yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the back. For the, yeah. I've seen clips of like uh, LaBeouf where he's, he does like a workshop for like prisoners, like for former prisoners. And he's just like, you show up on fucking time. I don't care if you got raped at the bus stop. We're doing Macbeth. Yeah. And it's just like, to, to be fair, they seem to re- like respect him. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I love Shia LaBeouf. I do, too. He, I think too. He, re- he, he reformed himself, I think. Very yeah. talented guy. Yeah. John he, Berthold's great, too. He assaulted his wife, and she stayed with him. So that's how you know he's a great guy. LaBeouf? <clears throat> LaBeouf yeah, or think, Berthold? Uh, LaBeouf. He just, like, grabs her tits, like, in line at, like, fucking, you know, Starbucks. Have I know. Have you seen which, that footage? Yeah, or heard the picture of him walking down the street. He just has his hand under yeah. her shirt. And people, people tried to tweet, like, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I was like, this is the greatest thing I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, it's also life. very romantic. You, you yeah. wish you had a relationship like yeah. that. Yeah. You're grabbing your wife's huge tits at Erewhon. Yeah. You're getting a $17 He's like, I'm trying to make sure they're full of milk for my daughter. <laughs> for my daughter, John. My daughter, John. <laughs> That's why... John, if you find and here's your rule for life. Number one, when you find a woman for your daughter, <laughs> make sure she has big ass titties to feed your daughter. It really it's like he, they're like monster <clears throat> truck Jordan Peterson, like 12 rules for life. But like <laughs> they drive huge trucks and have like pit bulls. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shia just always has just a pit bull. He's just hold that. <laughs> yeah. He shot a bunch of dogs, right? He said that, yeah, I think that's what uh, Faka Twigs or whatever. What, I don't know. What FK that, Twigs. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that uh, yeah. Fuck it, fucking Egg Twigs. That chemical that he was banging for a while. Uh, she said that, like, when he was getting ready for. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, what element of the periodic table yeah, was she having sex with? Yeah. Breaking Bad, Walter White's like, all we do is we add Fakat twigs to bronium. And Jesse, Jesse, Jesse give me Fakat twigs. Give me Fakat twigs. Jesse, have you heard Cellophane? It's a great song, Jesse. <laughs> Yeah, she said like when he was like preparing for that movie that nobody saw, like the tax collector. The tax collector. Yeah, we and Jace watched dude, it. Dude, it's one of the worst movies I've yeah, ever it's seen. It's really it's bad. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And he, yeah, he was in like he was in the barrio. He got, dude, he got cholo tattoos. He got all over real his chest. cholo tattoos. Yeah. And he shot a dog. He was shooting like stray dogs to like prepare what it's like to take. You have to understand what it's like to take somebody's life. Mm -hmm. You know. That's kind of like when he did Peanut Butter Falcon. If he like gave himself a lobotomy, he's like, I need to know what it's like to be retorted. <laughs> Hit me in the head with this hammer. It makes sense because he uh, he was in that movie recently, Padre Pio. Oh, what is that? Padre Father. I think it's called Padre Pio. I think is what the name. It's like a famous guy who was like a Catholic dude. Who are the Catholic guys that just wear brown robes? What monks, is that? Monks. Yeah, he's one of those yeah. guys. Franciscan, Franciscan monks. monks. Those yeah, all those creeps were walking around my school. He's one of those retards. Yeah. And uh, he converted to like uh, Christianity and Catholicism yeah. and stuff. And he's like an advocate for the Catholic Church now. For so whatever role he studies, he just becomes that thing. Yeah. yeah okay. Mm -hmm. He's one of those because they, they don't know who they are. Yeah, yeah, he that's why no they take idea. on the axe, you know. For for the movie Fury, he ripped out one of his teeth to play the character. Yeah, wow. His character wasn't even written as missing a tooth, but he just felt like <laughs> was, he needed to understand the pain. Dude, the... he literally showed up like first day. Said he like had his tooth pulled out, and Brad Pitt's like, "You're," he's like, "Listen, I'm beating my brown children all day. You're insane." <laughs> Brad, Brad, Brad Pitt's like, listen, I was eating shrimp while being filmed and beating my brown children, mm. and you're crazy. Yeah, Brad Pitt gets home. He walks into a wrestling rink, mm. and all of the brown children <laughs> have to walk in there with him. And then someone rings a big bell, and mm -hmm. she just starts fucking yeah, just, <laughs> just beating the like, shit like out of The him. heartbreak kid just giving like fucking mm. chin music. There's like a moment where all the kids like get on him, and then he <laughs> goes, yeah! <laughs> and they all, and they, <laughs> he just keeps just keeps hammering him. Yeah, it's like Kill Bill mm -hmm. and the eighty eight guys. Dude, how powerful would it feel to just beat up like twelve children though? Like that if you were in a great. ring with like twelve kids and you beat the fuck out of all of yeah. them. Yeah. And really, it must feel great. And really did it without honor, even for fighting. <laughs> yeah. Even for fighting 12 kids. If like the people watching were like, oh, oh, God. Oh, like a cage match. No yeah. rules. Anything goes. Mm -hmm. Biting. Like whatever. A, like a kid yeah. fell down and then you like landed knee first on his face. <laughs> and it just it caved in. Yeah. And people like are like, the malice, oh, my God. The malice at the palace yeah. at like Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. You grab a kid's head like the mountain and just crush it. Yeah. Make it explode. Sliding punches <laughs> into yeah. a seven-year-old like Jermaine O'Neal. That would be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be Mr. Beast's next video. This is how he gets peace in the Middle East, I think, mm -hmm. is he makes the Palestinian children and the IDF face right. off. Yeah. He in a cage out, match. out chocolate. Yeah. yeah. He's like, we just handed the IDF 1,000 missiles <laughs> to save the world. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It's a, it's a Palestinian kid with his eyes missing. He's going, Ooh. we just we just gave Hezbollah access to nuclear weapons. <laughs> yeah, there is already clickbait of like people breaking it down. A clickbait of what? Like on YouTube, like like independent Israel versus whatever. Palestine? Yeah, there's guys like standing in front of like uh, like the map and, and they're like, war has begun. <laughs> they're pointing at a mushroom cloud like, yeah, yeah. 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 And they're like, it's kind of like we need Netanyahu's kind of like the Thanos of the Middle East. He holds all the infinity stones. That is how a lot of people are probably thinking of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Dude, I saw like a Mexican dude the other day with like a with like a Thanos shirt. I just don't even know what's going on anymore. Mm -hmm. It could have been Grimace, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it you could have just been mistaken. Yeah, it could have been actually. Yeah. He just I loves no Grimace. <laughs> He's like, no, dog, this is like Grimace and shit. This is Grimace. Yeah. This is like Ronald McDonald's like retarded friend, Grimace. <laughs> His Down syndrome friend, Grimace. If you go to like Chick-fil-A, like there's a, a it, we just wait like, wait like 10 minutes mm -hmm. and just a, a family of retarded fat people will walk in. They're all wearing Marvel shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you go, yeah, that's most, that's most people. They're wearing a shirt that doesn't fit with a... Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet on it. A shirt that fit when they put it on that morning. 
<laughs> and they throughout the day they swell up so much from the sodium they consume mm. it doesn't fit anymore. Well, uh, really, what are shirts to them but napkins? That's very true. Yeah, <laughs> they treat true. they treat shirts like they're car hood uh, covers. <laughs> yes, for like a classic car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shirts to them they're just nets at the bottom of buildings that catch people that are falling. But mm -hmm. it's just mustard and ketchup yeah. and like chicken bones. A guy who when he's eating at Chick Fil A he tapes his shirt to the table so it catches all the food yeah and it rolls back yeah. down then it can have it, it later back down yeah. onto my plate and then i eat it again it's i get like, another tray it's like a roller coaster mm, it's like bowling <laughs> with the bumpers up where i can't i can't lose i used to i would lose about three-fourths of my food to the floor <laughs> and by lose i mean i would still eat it after <laughs> but it was covered in hair and shit uh, my shit uh, you're going to uh, Chick Fil A way too much. How do you know how much I'm just, going to Chick Fil A? You just always say like you just, you know, everybody you see in public is always at Chick Fil A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only Definitely. time you, the only time you leave your house is when you, to go to Chick Fil A. That's not dude. true. Me and Jace just went to In and Out before you came over, <laughs> which did. is across the street from Chick Fil A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Well. You yeah. know. It's very fun. I, I came over a little early. And then we all like uh, we were, we went to go. I, I went and bought a driver today. Yeah, me and Jace. Not uh, to brag. I went to help Jace get fitted for a new driver. Mm -hmm. Since we're filming our third golf match on uh, Thursday. Yeah, we're filming our golf match. I just did my taxes for 2022, so I got a I got a cool grand back. So oh 20 okay yeah, oh, you got yeah. two grand back. I did get two grand. I meant to say two grand. Nice. nice. I got two grand back. So six. six. You I got like, the driver. I need to buy a new driver. You get that Paul cast money. What's that? That pauled cast money back. Pauled cast? What does that mean? Isn't that what the, isn't that what they say? The pauled cast from who? Isn't that like a isn't that a, a clocking yeah. in at Chang's thing? Oh, is it oh, a pauled cast? What? I don't know. I don't. I, what? I don't know. I haven't even understood a word you said. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? The pauled. I think it's podcast, but they say pauled cast. Oh, because he doesn't speak. Yeah, because right. he sounds retarded. <laughs> right. So, Wait, they, I'm try, so I'm Brendan doing an impression Schaub of Brendan Schaub, and you think I'm having a stroke. Oh, Schaubcast. I thought you were saying no. Pauled cast. He calls Brendan Schaub calls podcast pauled casts because he, you know, because <laughs> he got like because his mouth doesn't work. Yeah, because really. he got hit by the truck from Duel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. He got yeah. ran over by the Steven Spielberg uh, yeah. truck. His last yeah. UFC match where he fought a big truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah, he fought a word in his last <laughs> UFC match. It's very rare for me to not be able to translate for you. No, I know. I'm losing my edge. Well, over. yeah, I'll stay away from the Schaub. Uh, yeah, the Schaub. And Schaub. Yeah. He was at Skankfest. They accepted him. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. good. He's cool now. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. He's a good sport. They held a gun to his head and they, they <laughs> said, say the N word. Yeah. And he did it. They go, well, you're okay with us now. No, no, what Kuba, 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 Kuba. But they're, they're banging their uh, fucking claws they have for hands against the table. Kuba, 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 Kuba. He said retard. He said fag. But they have claws as hands, not because they were in an accident. They willfully got them chopped off and turned into claws so they could just grab food easier. Just they could just yeah, they went, shove it right into a they snake. Went to the they go, I want to be trans, but I want to become a fork. Can you do that? <laughs> Can you do that for me? Brother, I, I can't make it to skank fest this year. All my eyes fell out. Yeah. My <laughs> eyes and my teeth fell out because I've been drinking dew for about a year. Drink Not a, Mountain Dew, actual dew. In my <laughs> in my honor. <laughs> he goes out to his garden yeah. in the morning with sugar and he mm. pours it on the plants. Mm. Sips been, the dew. I've been sick I've been sipping sugar, sipping and sucking sugar. Off this damn old dewy grass. Since I can't make it to skank fest, drink a glass of urine with blood in my honor. <laughs> <laughs> Selling these tickets for 80 bucks, brother. Anybody who comes through to the mobile home. Oh, oh but yeah, we went to get the uh, your your driver fitted. Yeah, was crushing it. 290 carry. Yeah, Jason's ball brag. speed was like one. Uh, your club speed was like 116. Pretty cool. Yeah, Jason was carrying it like 292, and then roll out to like 308. Yeah, mm. the guy had me hit like 30 balls, and by the end, I was like almost like about to pass out because I was swinging so hard to try and impress this guy. I was now. trying to hit balls with Ben, and this guy—it was kind of annoying. Like he kind of helped me. You actually helped me 
with yeah, my you stance. Can't. But it, these it's other amazing because he was like a retarded fat guy shaped like a pear. He was telling me like, don't like, I don't need to hit it that hard. But I was like, would you shut? Listen, I kind of like missing it and falling. It's fun. For he me. also sucked ass. Did you watch him? He sucked dick. Yeah, he was like a pedophile. He yeah. was uh, somehow somehow he was a pedophile. Yeah, trying to <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm thirty, but yeah. well, somehow he felt like a pedophile. Still trying to fuck <laughs> you. He's like, he gonna dress me up. Pedophile. He was gonna dress me up like a kid. Shave He's, my face. He saw the Wal- Walder Franco hat. Yeah. yeah. He thought you were a little baby. <laughs> there was something creepy about him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, the guys who give like tips on the range are the worst golfers. They're the worst. It time. was annoying. I was like, can you leave me alone? The worst mm-hmm. golfers are on the range constantly, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Those are the worst golfers in the world. I had a fun time, though. Yeah, it was great. It was- I hit a couple. It was like, all right. Yeah, you're learning. It was your first time. First time ever. It would be great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, gonna play have, on Thursday. We're okay. gonna have Devin golf, and we're gonna we're yeah. gonna make fun of him viciously. I gotta get me a glove. I still have a scar here. I got a fucking blister from hitting. Listen, you got soft hands, brother. Hitting you got soft hands. You got those you hands. Got soft hands. I don't soft goon like, for- like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gooning eighty motherfucking hours a week, brother. I'm in the Gooners Union, Chapter Sixty Nine, Gooners brother. Union. Yeah, card carrying member, proud uh, Gooner. <laughs> This guy's never worked with his hands. All he's done with his hands is grabbed his wiggler. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got podcast hands over there. Damn his right. podcast hands. I tell you, yep, his podcast hands. <laughs> yep, very good, man. Very good, very good. But then we went to In and Out after we got Jason. Jason's like, all right, I hit thirty uh, drivers. We uh, we should go to In and Out. No, okay. First <laughs> off, this is a complete <laughs> lie. First off. I am going to therapy for eating issues, so you cannot be mean to me. Okay, that's fair. No, I take it off, back. No, second off. I'll edit it out and then put it in three times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll name the episode that. <laughs> the episode will be called Jace Wanted to Go to In and Out. Because <laughs> I am the god of this realm we live yeah, in. That's as right. the producer. Mm-hmm. No, it was we just got back. It was very funny. Like Katie was here, and then Katie was like, Oh, okay, you, you guys hungry? We're like, Yeah, we're hungry. I'll just cook something. She's like, I'll, I'll cook something. No, I said that. You were like, you. I knew you did not mean it, though. I turned on the oven. He, he I loves, had the oven. He on. loves this to do a, this. This is a fake. You left the, the oven, oven on like, because you're getting nervous as the baby <laughs> approaches, and you hope something horrible happens here. You turn the gas on. Manchester by the Sea situation happens. <laughs> ben has been leaving a lot of screens off the fireplace. <laughs> now you walked in, you go. I guess I could cook something. I'll turn the <laughs> oven on. I can, if you guys want me to cook, or we can go to In and Out. We we should reshoot. By the way, that scene in Manchester by the Sea where he comes back fucked up and his house is on fire, and he's like, <laughs> "Yes, <laughs> fuck yeah!" <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the just showed up. He's high five and the out. rest of the movie is everyone else that knew him. They're like, they're like, you need to settle down. You're you're enjoying this way too much. Like he's getting fucked up at the bar. He keeps cheersing. He won a bunch of insurance money. Yeah, the last ninety minutes of the movie just him going, Let, let's brew tonight. <laughs> Get it. Get the spices right. Ruin my life. <laughs> Trying to fuck one woman at the bar. Yeah, fuck them kids. Yeah. He's like, you want to check my dick? Bitch. She's like, didn't you burn your children? Up? He's like, whatever. <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> bitch. Okay. Uh, Cunt. He tries to grab the cop's gun, but it's just to shoot off a couple of like, <laughs> yeah. like celebratory. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The rest of the movie is him trying to figure out how to now kill his nephew. And by the way, everybody in that area of the United States would just look at him and be like, some guys have all the luck. Yeah, uh, totally. His family yeah. burned alive in his house. They go, Casey, you got a winning lottery ticket. <laughs> Earn this. Earn this by assaulting a woman in your day to day life. <laughs> Not in the movie. Uh, I don't know. He's so, probably got a sip of whatever. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? I had the oven on. I just yeah. want to say that I had the oven on. I was ready to cook. What something. were you gonna cook in the oven, Ben? Were you gonna put together a casserole real yeah. quick? What the fuck are you gonna do? I was, was gonna... getting ready to heat up In and Out from the day before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a frozen pizza. I was going to cut up a fresh bell pepper from the farmer's market and sprinkle that over the frozen pizza and then put that in the oven, thus making it healthy. Mm, right? right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> because it's from the farmer's if market. If you put vegetables on a frozen pizza, yeah, right. it's like a salad. Yeah, you go. Yep. I bought a frozen exactly. pizza from a guy in a tent, so it's healthy. <laughs> It's not bad. Uh, I th- then I had to turn the oven off because Katie was, you know, she's pregnant and she always just she's been asking me to get in and out for like two weeks straight. 
Swear to God. Mm, okay. And then she's like, I should, I shouldn't, I should, I shouldn't. <sighs> and then she'll just door dash like five hundred dollars worth of Chick Fil A. Yeah. What something. a what a bitch, dude. Yeah. I'm what a ki- pregnant bitch. I'm gonna cut her belly open. Mm-hmm. Take that baby out of her. What did you accidentally say when we were at In and Out? Where I thought you really insulted her. Oh, Katie was like. So I. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. I got my. I'll t- let you tell the story. Yeah. I got my clubs also fitted today, which means they adjust your Y angle on the clubs. Okay. And Katie's like, I want to do that. And then what did you say to her? And I said, Yeah, once you're not pregnant anymore, we'll get you. You should get fit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, a little double. I mean, yeah, yeah. And Jace was like, "She." Jace had like heard the end of <laughs> that. He was like, "Jesus Christ!" Because sometimes Jace is around us and he acts like me and Katie are like the honeymooners or something. Like I'm wow. beating the shit out of her. <laughs> well, or something. I mean, I just heard Jace is fr- like, "You guys should both go to therapy." Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think mm. to the moon, Katie. <laughs> to the moon. Well, you said that. And I thought you just meant like you know you should stop being fat once the baby's born. And I was like. God, just like our father. <laughs> Literally, yeah. no joke. The apple is still on the tree. Hasn't even fallen. Hasn't even fallen. That, did your that... dad? Did your dad do that? Uh, he, you know, he probably gave my mother some. He took sweet... her to the gym while she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we her drink slim fast. Yeah, and shit. That's why we're fucked up because our mom was always wearing weightlifters belts <laughs> while she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, my dad just like thinks everybody's fat. Yeah. And yeah. he himself is fat, which is very funny. But we're yeah. not allowed to tell him he's fat. Yeah. Right. Well, he's, uh, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, Ben, edit this out. Of the you podcast. sent that really funny joke he sent you the other day to us. Yeah. He just discovered comic books for the first time. <laughs> yeah. It didn't even make sense. The joke, I, I, I looked at it for a while. Yeah. Like, you got to look at them from all different angles. It, they're actually fascinating. They're so bad. They're, they're, all, they're like, it's the Da Vinci code. Yeah. You're trying to right. figure it's, it out. It's, you have to decipher it. Right. Well, yeah. for the listeners, he's been sending us like those little one panel comics. Like he's found like, uh, like the far side from China or something. It's like <laughs> rip off far side. And he sends it like only a dad can where you're like, did you print? Did you like take a picture of a comic you saw in real life? Save it to your computer, print it out, and then like take a picture of the printed p- image and then screenshot it and then send it to us. Yeah, this looks like it's been Xerox five. It's times. comics where the first one he sent us was there was a dragon using a toilet in mm-hmm. the middle of a jungle, and then there's two uh, guy uh, safari guys who are white. Mm-hmm. Everybody's always white in the comics, by the way. Very interesting, mm-hmm. and they have like little binoculars and they go look a commode o dragon. Because he's using the toilet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's yeah. the one he sent us with no sent context. It, sent us no con. No, God. no response. No response. Next day, sent another comic. No one responds. You could right. feel like when you get something sent to you, like that you could like feel cells in you dying. <laughs> yeah. Like you could Dude. feel, you're like, hey, you just added to some cancer. Yeah. Mm. I hear a bing and I pick up my phone and it's hot. Like it's like got a little <laughs> heat to it. I'm yeah. like, ah. Yeah. Ah, I can't even touch it. Ugh. And it was very funny. He sent us like three comics in a row, no response. And then he sent us like a like one of those Bible verses that's like, and woe to thee who did not worship the Lord for their newborns were crushed upon the rocks and their, <laughs> and their penises were cut off and burned and eaten by little birds. Woe to them. Romans 6, 9 through 12. Yeah. Ooh. No response. And then my sweet, a cute video of my sister's baby. It's very that's very nice. Yeah. yeah. And then my dad will just write, Biden. 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 We, we just we just thumb it up. He just mm-hmm. that's all he says is Biden. He'll just go type Biden. Yeah, or my my mom will text like, "Hey, just to let you know, Aunt So and So has cancer." We'll be like Biden. <laughs> God, Biden. Yeah, that's Biden. Biden. It's yeah. like being raised by a truck flap. <laughs> <laughs> a mud yeah. flap on a truck. Yeah, a sexy lady mud flap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like yeah, so um, I'm leaving your father. He's like Biden. <laughs> Biden broke up my marriage. Yeah, Biden. Yeah. Biden made it where I couldn't fuck. Yeah, Biden. Damn Biden. <laughs> Damn Biden gave me ED. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Biden fucked up my penis. <laughs> Lasted six seconds again tonight, Biden. Biden made all my mm-hmm. Viagra stop working, so I can't get my dick hard tries out my belly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. How long do you think you're gonna keep fucking as an as an adult? Like, what's the last age you'll have sex at? Uh, some would say I haven't started. Hey. <laughs> hey. You and me both, pal. I only goon. Mm. The day I met my future wife, I set her down. I go, hey, listen, we're not fucking. We're gooning. We're gooning from now on, baby. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Uh, I like the oh, way you touch my thigh. I'll like ask that. you Whoa. This. Oh, all right. Hey, oh. Okay. Let's. Yeah. 
Is that a little white cloud? It's a white Ooh, okay. Here we go. You just want to touch it so bad. Wonder, bro. You're hoping some of the rock. It, it, it kind of fell. You're hoping some of it gets into your pores and yeah. your fingers. Ben has a straw going out the bottom of his shirt <laughs> sleeve into the beer. He's like, like, ooh. She's like, he's cheating at a poker game in the 1800s. This is essentially like thermite. Like that I'm dancing around. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it feels like I'm actually just holding it. It's like I drink a cup of coffee. I feel like I'm alive again. You already feel good? Yeah, I feel just like I'm me. a big can. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm me again. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Uh, You're making a lot of jokes about it lately. <laughs> no, I haven't. You know what's funny? I barely I think about it. I barely think about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I barely think about it. That's why I the brought... The mic snaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mic snaps in my hand. I barely think about it. That's why I brought everybody's CBD sodas to drink. Mine was really good. Before the podcast. I actually yeah, really I had a little them. bit of mine. It was pretty good. No, it was very fun. I, um, I've been having, because I haven't been, been binging, I've been having like very, I was driving over here last week to record. And I saw, I was in traffic. I was on Twitter. I saw just a meme that it was, it was a stupid meme, but it was Alfred from batman michael kane mm-hmm. and he's holding a tray with Modelo on it. he goes your 13th ice cold beer mr wayne <laughs> and i saw that i was That's like yeah i was like i saw that i was like yeah i probably should start drinking this <laughs> well I'm that gonna would be, be pretty fun i'm gonna be perfectly honest here okay mm-hmm. I don't. I would. Like, ben can't. Let me hear. There oh, is nobody it. on earth. Give me. Permission. I want <laughs> to drink with me more than Jace. Mm-hmm. That's it. I, I'm gonna say it. More than me. Well, I, yeah, but no, but I'm a good guy. Like, I'm not going to get you back into it. Sure. But if I lost everything, you'd be like, come on, have a beer. But Jace like never if visibly had a problem. Kid. Yeah, yeah, sure, if, yeah. If, if, oh, if a lot of horrible things happen, like a Manchester, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If tragedy happened, yeah. I'd, I would be the first here with mm-hmm. a big bottle for yeah. you. <laughs> a big a big bottle and a gun and a paper yeah. bag. <laughs> And you go with the serial numbers <laughs> scraped yeah. off yeah. of it. And you go, you go, listen, buddy. There's a way out of all this, and it's just a moment away. Mm. Yeah, no, I would love to. Who knows? Maybe if I get if I get control of this vicious binge eating, I've been because that's always been my. Was my it really the bigger. drinking that just made you be like, I'll just eat anything I want now? Well, I was I'm... drinking and I was I was always binging, and then once I cut the, I was anorexic like when I was a teenager and in college, mm-hmm. and then once I quit drinking, like the binging got even more, and that's honestly feels like the harder one to cut. So I'm working on it now, but that's the reason I'm I'm getting like these weird panic attacks out mm-hmm. of nowhere. Mm-hmm. But vodka is no calories, right? So I can drink it. There we go. No, there are keto. Yeah, I, I, there's, lo- there's... I lost 25 pounds doing keto and drinking every night. <laughs> can I tell you? In, in, you actually did that. I yeah. did. Yeah. I, Not every night, but I drank. In college, I, I was on a diet that was I ate one. I ate like half a frozen pizza a day. And then I was allowed eight tall boys. And then I ran 10 miles a day. And yeah. I lost 30 pounds doing that every day. Wow. Hey. My bones started to warp. In true mm-hmm. Joker willing style. Exactly. You're eating a tombstone pizza and drinking 15 beers and then running across the city. Yeah. And I go, good. 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 I go, my body's eating my bones for vitamins. Good. <laughs> good. 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 <laughs> good. 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 Oh, oh. This, this is porn where the lady has a dick. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. That's exactly what good. I was looking for. Good. It's clicked not on it on accident. It's not gay because I'm drunk. Good. If, if I clicked on it on accident, it's it, it, then I can fuck. I can yeah. fucking jack off to it. And Go if ahead. I if I clicked on it by accident, I can click on re- recommended videos from it, so I can keep watching <laughs> other ones. Good. 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 If you're drunk, it doesn't count as when you watch gay porn. If you can get to it without typing it in, then it's not gay. Yeah. If it autofills <laughs> from the last time you were drunk and searched for it, <laughs> it doesn't count, and it's not gay. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Jocko Willink watching gay porn. Yeah, Jocko Willink who won't admit <laughs> who won't admit trans porn is gay. <laughs> Alex and he Jones. goes, she's got big fat tits. Good. Alex Jones got caught on InfoWars uh, watching tranny porn. How did he get caught? Do I have to bleep that? Can you say that word? Tranny? Oh, what not? Oh, yeah, God forbid. Yeah, that one will <laughs> yeah. get us. That's the worst thing we've right. said. You know how those people are. They have their panties, those, in, a, those people. They have their panties in a wad. Yeah, their briefs are all in a bunch. <laughs> Yeah, from that the, was bad. I, I think apologize. that's what they call the category of porn. So that's why I called it that. Because I don't Tranny. call people right. like that. I don't go like, hey, you're a... Yeah, you call black women ebony. <laughs> <laughs> it's all based on categories for you. Black 
that would be so insane yeah. if I did that. Yeah. <laughs> that That'd is what so the, if you go to a porn yeah. site, the black porn uh, is called ebony yeah. porn. You, you you call a husband a cuckold only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is your yeah. cuckold present? Yeah. Instead of saying your daughter, you go, my barely legal. <laughs> My barely legal. You're like, she's zero. <laughs> That's what the barely's for. Good Lord. Yeah, oh, man. I think that I was going to ask you as a hypothetical question. Oh, bring it. Yeah. Oh, it was if your significant other died, like kind of tragically, how long would it take before you like, Fucked. It's like three hours. <laughs> Do like three, I would get her to the morgue, and I'm like, "You guys all good? I think you got it from here." I'm like, I'm like identifying the body while calling an Uber. I'm like, "Yeah, that's her." Fucking fifteen minutes. What the fuck? I'm like, great. It's uh, it's double charge. Uh, it's it's surging. Now. It's surging right now. God, right. you guys couldn't take her earlier. God, we know she's dead. <laughs> Feel her. She's called as a damn rock. I go. I think she's a. Uh, I think she's actually waking up. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you take off yeah. your shoe. Yeah, you're beating the you're shit like, out of her. You're like, let me check her pulse, and then you just press down into her neck <laughs> really hard. Like I think you're choking. You're like, no, no, no. I can't. Who, I can't feel it. Did you see that video? The crazy actress who was really high on like cocaine and crack and shit like a year ago. Anne Heche. Yes. Who crashed into that car? Into the house. Did yeah. you see the video footage of the helicopter filming them taking the body out that of the house? That wasn't her. That was a different thing. Oh, that was a that was, a, that was another thing I've ever seen. Chong line. Yeah. Like, oh, that was insane. Yeah, that, yeah, that was crazy. Don't worry, that was a normal woman who was killed for yeah. no reason. It was a woman. She unzipped the bag she was in, and she, like, on the news, I and saw she that. was like, ah! "That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That was crazy." Yeah. But she she wasn't in John Q, so nobody gives a fuck about her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she is in John Q. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Hayes. And Hayes. Yeah. yeah. Denzel's just going like, "Why do you look so dyke?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you crashed into my house. <laughs> you tried to kill my son. Hey Emma, yeah, hey, you're Emma. the only one allowed in here. But Anne Hayes, man. Yeah. Poor, poor lass. Poor lass. That was terrible. <laughs> She smoked a bunch of crack and drove into the side of it's a crazy, house. crazy, yeah. because Hollywood is so healthy for you, mm -hmm. you know, especially as a woman. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, they yeah. treat, they treat An old you, woman? They treat you like milk in yeah. Hollywood. You turn 37, and they just throw you in a fucking uh, trash can. She was driving away from Assad that Harvey Weinstein hired. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that the, what comes out of this, at the very least, is I hope we get cool movies. What of, Out of what? Like yeah, what the Israel Palestine oh, thing. Okay. Oh, cool movies, yeah. Yeah, I hope we get cool movies where, like, you know, there's, like, a sexy IDF lady with huge tits and a mm -hmm. huge ass, and she fucks they a lot. They already made it. It's called Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was in Gal, Gal Gadot. Gadot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's Israeli, right? Oh, yeah. She fucks a gun. Yeah. <laughs> she's married to a gun. Yeah. They make a, a Rambo colon ethno state <laughs> is the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gal Gadot was very funny. Somebody, I saw somebody tweet like, "Here's a list of celebrities who just endorse Israel." In case you want to unfollow, number one, Gal Gadot. And people were like, "What?" Yeah, right. What? The woman who fought in the IDF. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. They all. I mean, they all have to, right? Yeah. If you're if you if you grow up there. Well, you all have to. I mean, isn't that what the club does? They're, it's all a big club, right? And they, they all train have to support early. the same thing at the exact same time. Yeah, they tell you, like, you better not get too much of a tan or we will fucking <laughs> shoot you right in the head. Yeah. Put that pita down, pick up some damn chala. Yeah. Yeah. She had big tits, though. They're, they're okay. Goodell? B bees, maybe. Dude, I thought she had big tits. I don't know if she's like super big tits. She's just gorgeous. Yeah. She's Fuck just, her. She's just really hot. She's gorgeous, but we could we could move those titties up quite oh, a few Oh, they could notches. get a little bigger. Mm. She needs to spend more time in America. <laughs> I need her to pump those numbers she up. She'll be working at tight ends in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is great how little uh, shit she gives about any acting role at this point. Yeah. She made like $5 million, and now like she'll be in a new... Justice League movie. She'll just like walk and she's like, Hey, I'm wondering what's up. Like, I mean, it's my lasso. Yeah. They're like, Oh, look, look at her pussy. <laughs> yeah, she's just hot. She's just, she's just eye candy, her basically. Just, it's like a, I was talking to my cup. <laughs> uh, her whole thing is just like, she's a pussy line, basically. 
Hmm? Her put like on, in the movie, like you can see, like you go, I can see your pussy. Yeah, and they go, the, yeah, that's why we paid her a lot of money. Yeah. yeah, she has the abs that go into the pussy itself. Yeah, yeah. and then like wrap around the back of her body. Yeah, yeah. her pussy looks like the Gaza Strip. <laughs> it's like looks like the border. I mean, Chase Bank, you know, they got uh, U.S. Bank, West Bank. I mean, they got every bank in the book. <laughs> Call book. Back. Very good. They got every bank call in the book. Back. Well, that's, that's, I tell you what. That's what we call a classic joke, I ladies. Mean, is there one bank? Is there one <laughs> bank they don't want? I mean, folks. Man, uh, yeah. I know how to. I know how to solve this. Put my credit card down. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny. You could end the war if you Venmo Netanyahu fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. He's like, All right, I cannot say <laughs> no. Like, I can't say no to money like that. He's like, listen, a deal's a deal. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like fifty clams. Yeah, he's, yeah straining his tie. He goes, <laughs> boy, golly gee. No, you give him like free tickets to like the Do- Dodgers game three. Mm-hmm. And he goes, these are worth at least $125. I'm going to resell these. Yeah. <laughs> Nan Yahoo outside Dodger He's Stadium. a scalper. Yeah, like, I got two. I got two. Uh, who's the, by the way, who's the who's the guy in Hamas who's like, I'm the guy who's against Nan Yahoo? Is there like, a guy, the main guy? I didn't know there was Do a they have guy. a Bin Laden or like a guy who's That's like. That's the thing. There's not much. Yeah, they don't have like a structure. There doesn't yeah. seem to be like a main a villain. Shame. That's they're, why they're all dying. Yeah, their general's a slingshot, so I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah. I think they need like a last chance you coach to go in the game for them. Yeah, they need Buddy Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, God Andy damn Reed it. Or some shit. Yeah. God damn it. You don't throw the rock that early. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yelling, yelling at a ref. He's still fat as shit. Still yeah. huge. Where the fuck are your shoes? <laughs> Yeah, all my players got their own shoes. God damn it, son! You forgot your helmet. Son, pick up the potato gun and fire. <laughs> Hold on to the Molotov cocktail. Run the damn ball. Run the damn ball. North and south, motherfucker. Uh. North and south. My head like hurts from these Wander Franco hats, and we're like past an hour, and I kind of want to yeah. end because I can't really think anymore. <laughs> we should, they are uncomfortable. We should end. Yeah. The funny thing is, is they were designed for children, so they barely <laughs> fit. If they were given only to children yes. at the at Dude, the it's, games. It's literally like it's you know God is real because this happened. El Patron. Yeah. El Patron. The fact that they gave out fourteen and under hats, and then he was. What does Patron mean? It's a liquor. I know. No, so no, like, no, but his just, nickname is El Patron. It's uh, the pedophile in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> the pe- they call him El Peto. Uh, not to dox myself, but my license plate. Me and Katie looked at it. Don't the other- say that out loud. What? Your whole license plate? No, no, no. No, I'm not going to say my whole license okay, plate. Okay, sorry. But I'm going to give you a little bit of it. <laughs> uh, me and Katie were like in 1488. <laughs> yeah, H T L R. One. Uh, uh, <laughs> we were both like standing in the parking lot and we were looking at our license plate on our car. Mm-hmm. And we like, we did a head tilt and we're like, Did our license plate start with the letter CP? Mm. Mm. We're like, Huh. Yeah. Only you and Katie have ever noticed that. <laughs> I know. The only people about to have a kid that have been like, Should we get a new license plate? Yeah, I gotta get a new, I gotta get a vanity plate now. <laughs> That just says I stand with Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta get a vanity plate for Israel. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get an Israel. How about I get an Israel 88 vanity plate so I really just yeah. confuse the hell out of everybody. <laughs> they don't know where I stand on yeah. it. Well, that kind of fits, honestly. I guess it does yeah. actually. Being extreme racist and defending Israel. Well, everybody's saying if you support Palestine now, that Palestinians are basically neo Nazis. Mm-hmm. That's like whatever, like Barry Weiss and all these people who are like you know right. that seem to have brain damage or something. And they're like, we only defend yeah. the Ukrainian Nazis. <laughs> exactly, those are the good ones, dude. That is the funniest thing. Is is every senator like shifted from supporting Nazis to Jews overnight? Yep. Yeah. Just so the military industrial complex can keep rolling. Yep. That's yeah. a sign of low intelligence, by the way. Is if Anyone you don't like, you compare them to Nazis. Mm-hmm. That, 100%. that seems to be like you're just surface the easiest, level. You just go, oh, you N- Nazi. Nazi. You're Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. You're Nazi. <laughs> you're racist. Yeah. You're one step above the guy who turned Obama into the Joker on signs <laughs> <laughs> in, in 2007. Which that guy got tons of pussy Dude, from that. That guy, that guy was Robert Murdoch. 
started an empire. I wish I was the guy who invented uh, putting Obama on uh, urinal cakes, urinal pads. That would be pretty. Well, they did that with Jane Fonda originally. Oh, really? Yeah, because of the Vietnam shit. If you go to any VA in America, you can piss on Jane Fonda's yeah. face. They today. hate her. Yeah, they hate her because she was like trying to show like 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 the Vietnamese how to do like stretching or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> She went she to was a, teaching the Pilates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she went to Vietnam and she sucked off all the Vietnamese guys. Yeah, yeah. It's really funny to like you know devote your life to like hating like the female Jack Lalanne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, protesting eighty for Brady. Yeah, <laughs> in your in your dying days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate Monster in Law. <laughs> Piece of shit movie. More like Monster in Bitch. Yeah. You ask me. <laughs> was that one of those things where, like, the only people that were against Jane Fonda and shit were? See, to me, the people only people that were against the war in Vietnam were the people that didn't fight in it, but were for war. It seemed anybody that fought in Vietnam came back and they were like, "What the fuck did it, it just happened?" Like, I don't oh, even yeah. know who I am anymore, and that was very wrong. I did horrible things. Seems, yeah, seems to be the narrative. With Pretty it. much. And then everybody that didn't fight in it, like, either called them gay or was still pro-war. Yeah. Because they just have to get, they get to sit back and you know. Well, I think Vietnam was the one where they they called everybody baby killer. So that was the one. Everybody was hippies and they're like, "You're a baby killer." And then the, we felt really bad about that. So when Kuwait happened, we were like, "USA number one, let's go, baby." Mm-hmm. And then cu- culturally, the response to that was kind of cool because then we got movies like Taxi Driver, mm-hmm. where like angry, isolated uh, men who were very confused were just like, "Yeah, I'm like." I think I'm going to kill everybody. What if I, hey. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hate everyone. <laughs> what if, and look, hear me out. Yeah. What if I made them not exist? What if I gooned all day at a movie theater what if, and I got really good at loading weapons? What if I gooned so much <laughs> I tried to save a child prostitute to fuck her? <laughs> and I blew a guy's hand off while I was holding it up in the air. That's my favorite shot in all it's of cinema. It's incredible. It's yeah. just that Italian guy going like, oh, and then his hand exploding. Yeah. That rules. Yeah. Yep. His gooning hand. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, God damn. <laughs> you shot him in the gooning I hand. Oh, you son of a bitch. You do not shoot a man in his gooning hand. Yeah. That's uh that's Geneva convention. <laughs> yeah. You save the He's goon. He's like, I'm gonna have to switch to reverse overlap. And Travis like, Bickle's like, it's way better, by the way. Yeah. You're gonna love it. He's like, do me a favor, blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> you took away my life, and why don't you kill me now? <laughs> I can't goon anymore. Can't goon for shit. <laughs> he can still fuck, but now he can't jack off. He's like, this is good for nothing. Like, you kill me. What am I supposed to do? Get my dick sucked? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'm a gooner. Okay. Uh, I'm, su- I'm way too hot. We yeah, gotta let's, we, got to, we got to take a break and do the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Lemon Party. And uh, the live streams are every Wednesday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we're recording, by the way, we're recording this like maybe six days before this episode comes out because we always record like five days before, six days before. Yeah. So if Israel's like, you know, nuked at this point, <laughs> right. just, yeah. you know, pretend that like, you it know, was, there's not like a nuclear hog. If something yeah. horrible happened, we're not going to re record. So just yeah. take that into account. Yeah. yeah. So. Exactly. It is, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, dive in at, 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 at Watch Pod. Yes. Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. And we'll see you next week, folks. Bye. Bye.